Welcome back awesome action toy fans and subscribers. I'm finally getting around to reviewing the 303 Third Marine and Mobile Arsenal trailer set from Acid Rain World by Toys Alliance. Um, I've had this for a couple of weeks at least, maybe longer, and I haven't had a chance to even take the plastic bag off it yet. But now I've got some time, let's open this up and let's view it. It looks pretty cool. As of always, fantastic artwork. Often a little bit dark, so it's a bit different to see what's going on, but we can see that even through the uh, slight glare. Let me see if I can take this off while we are waiting. Yeah! We just did it off camera to save time. Okay, that's better. So great artwork there. We see it looks like possibly a marine. We see the sort of some of the armory stuff inside. And see the trailer. It's got one of those cases for like a flea. Looks very good. The uh, stretcher, big guns, looks very nice. Contents, we can see it looks to pee, appear to be two rifles, two pistols, two heavy guns, two stretchers, two cases for the uh, blah, 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 the flea, two jerry cans and whatever else little bits has got inside. But it tells us here, that makes it a bit easy, doesn't it? So we've got the trailer itself, we've got the two big machine guns, or four machine guns in total, two fuel tanks, Two assault rifles, the stuff I'm not seeing on there, that's on this list. Um, pistols, drone pack, drone racks, drone box, stretcher, rifle rack, small gun, war rack, large gun, war rack, times eight, times eight. Pretty cool. Okay, let's get a quick first look inside. It's plastic cased. We have instructions, which is nice. The trail itself looks a bit square, and we can see the uh, cases there. All right, let me set this up and then we'll get into this. I'll be back in a moment and please consider joining the Patreon. Link in the top right, also in the video description below. Try it for a month and see what you think. If you want to continue or not, you can cancel at any time. Okay, I'll be back in an instant. Okay, so I've done a little setup here. Now, this is not how I would load it out, but just to show you how nearly everything attaches. So we see on the back we've got the case for the, uh, for the flea and then that would open here and your flea can come out uh, you probably wouldn't have that on with the gun as well the big gun there because you can only turn one way uh, 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 uh. but just to show you you see that I have got let's move the camera I've got the stretch the stretcher the stretcher that's you know it's not a bad attachment it doesn't clip in as well but it stays there there on the other side i've put in one of the long gun racks i've put two of the little um i'm not sure what they're called now i've forgotten the name two of these little things here to hold the big gun you can space them out as you please and i've put two very close together which holds a pistol if that was higher up the pistol wouldn't touch and it'd still be secure just that i did it lower because i've got that big gun there to to show you um so the guns these little rifles it comes actually really quite nice i like these a lot I don't think we've seen these before, have we? I don't recall. Lacking in colour, but the design's pretty cool. So two of those. The pistol we've seen already. Like this, and we can take that little part off there if we want. And you get loads of these little hook attachments. And the nice thing with these little attachments is that they come um, two-sided. And by two-sided, I mean you have an inside for one and the outside so they match so you do like that and it's closed on the outsides open on the insides which is very quite cool and as you saw in the back you actually get four of these you can get the rifles i've got two in there you could get uh up to eight in there too and then these jerry cans the fuel cans are like this and another spare one of these okay so other features if i just take this gun off now can i take this one off easily let's have a look Okay, that goes in and he got a pivot over. So other features, both sides do open. Obviously the structure does come off. Let's get that so you can see it clearly. And you can unfold the inside on both sides. So you get a nice little ramp for putting things up, putting things inside. It's too narrow for any of the other vehicles. Yeah. I don't think an Amethysta or a Speeder Mark 1 would fit in there. Uh, you can take off the that part. You can actually take off the seating as well. 
Let me just try and get this off first of all. There we go. Seating is a little bit more difficult because it's actually, look on the back here, it's clipped on here and it goes into there. So you have to sort of get that one and then hopefully if I take up there. Seating will come out. I'll take the other bed out that I stuck in there. And then when that's out, push from the center, don't break. Oh, God, that one's really stiff. I don't risk that one. That one's a bit too stiff for my liking. When that's out, yeah, you wouldn't get anything in because they put the wheel arches there, which is kind of pointless since the wheels don't go underneath the wheel arches. So that should have just stayed flat, in my opinion. And then that would have been relatively wide to get maybe something smaller than maybe like a Joy Toya uh, Wildcat ATV. See stop, top right of the screen for review on that. That possibly could fit in there. So that's a bit disappointing. We do have the pegs here for your troopers to sit down obviously there's a seating for them to sit down you can see up to eight which i think is a bit optimistic because with backpacks and legs going forward and stuff it's gonna be a bit small inside there other cool features on this which we saw on the on the ankylo is that we have the adjustable wheel, wheel height so they can and they got little little uh yeah there we go little notches so you can get it into the same position, just one click, two clicks, three clicks, whatever. But these inner ones are so stiff. There we go. And then you can get to the position. And also nicely detailed underneath, which is absolutely fantastic. So you, another question you want to ask, how does it look with the, with the Ankylo? Well, that will be the attaching to Ankylo. No, the other side, sorry. The loop should attach to, to the Ankylo. And then we will have a look. And the nice thing is, because it's got the hook on the other side, you can have multiples of these going along. And with the adjustable wheels, you can adjust to the same height as the Ankylo. So let me get my Ankylo here. It's in a low position. Let me just get out the little hook. That's not quite flat because I think the wheels are different heights, maybe. Or maybe because I've got it a half raised. But it does hook on very nicer too. At uh, nicer too? Nice too. You'll also see that it has the same clips on the side. So you can attach the armoured section over like we did with the uh, Ankylo when that first came out. The fuel cans are the same but you'll see there's actually less paint work on these newer ones than on the original which is a bit of a pity there's still some there but not as much so the armored sections are really quite cool you'll see those in the ankylo review uh it is a very good toy i think it might be a touch over engineered there's a lot going on there it's not for little kids so stiff not for little kids because there's just so much you can do and lose okay let's have the wheels touching yeah that's not going to work and these wheels are slightly too close together i would suspect okay that's higher if i push this one slightly down we should get a different sort of look and yeah feel slightly too high need to put these wheels down slightly more but you get the idea my wheels aren't the same height um maybe i would have to see my hook is as far back as it can go really that hook should be slightly longer I feel so there's a bit more gap between it because then it can't really turn well with a gap it could turn slightly better but color wise again it doesn't quite match unless you can see on the camera that the Ankylo is slightly lighter and this is free of free marine this is free for marine this is slightly darker that could just be the weathering if I turn around the other side again it doesn't quite match but it's close enough just as it's a small point um 
if we look at how figures sit, and I haven't got a free or free marine with me, but I have got my awesome, one of my favorites, I keep mentioning it, the uh, Nerunu Sentinel, which is a completely different faction, different side of the world. You see him sitting down in that, I think you would not get four in the figures. Well, you could, but it will be a squeeze. Eight, I think, yeah, difficult. Three each side, I think, would be uh, four. Four, so two each side would be comfortable. Three each side might be a squeeze. Four would be quite difficult, unless they've got thin hips and short legs or really good articulation on the uh, lower body. So, final thoughts on this. There is, there are a lot of options for this. You can see how I've got the uh, pistol in there and the rifles, how they are attached. There are a lot, lot of options if, in this, which is great for different loads out. It does take a little time to set up and understand everything, but the instructions do help, not too bad. Um, it is decent. I mean, I put the pistol this way. You could put it upside down across there instead like that if you wanted to it is decent there's so many options you've got with it uh we can use it for medical or have the one stretcher on one side seating on both sides transporting two fleas if you want you know in the uh drone cases uh it's a good set and you get some great guns with it too um but it's the sort of set that you're going to want to have an ankylo first because it works so much better having something that can tow it. You could buy it by itself. You could use it by itself. You're going to want an Ankylo. And again, you're going to want enough of the armoured barriers to go over to get that nice, nice look. But it is a very nice piece. Okay, this is all Smash Toys. I'm signing out saying please like, share, subscribe. Uh, smash that notification bell icon so you don't miss new videos when they're published. And also please consider joining the Patreon. Link in the video description below plus discount codes for various recommended toy sellers. I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.